do a little review about the Nanix R. There are a lot of other reviews out there, but I think um, my Nanix R that I got 10 days ago, or maybe more, must be something like a version 2 or they um, improved the production of this thing because um, the gimbals feels much better than on the versions of my friends so they are very smooth no scratching or something it's very good so um I want to talk about the battery for this thing because um, it's better without light because um, Hobby King is selling a battery for this one which is a LiPo with 3S around 11.1 volt and um, since this thing has a voltage regulator um, most of your voltage goes through heat so um, another thing is that the LiPo I had no problems until uh, now with my light post, but as you already have seen the videos in the internet, what can happen to a lipo? Now um, imagine you have this in your cheeks, near your face, or you have the transmitter um, in your home place or near something because you have um, run the simulation or have some educations in um, simulators and you get the problem with your life but this is the other thing so this was not the main reason for me to use another battery but after I had a look on Hobby King I decided to use a life feed battery so this one is a 9.9 volt also so it means two cells with 1.5 amps so um since the LIFE are very um, secure, so they cannot explode or explode or overheat or something, it is a good choice for a transmitter and the battery fits very well in. It has the size of 8 uh, NIMH batteries and you can charge this um, almost with normal charge mode of your LiPo charger in LIFE mode and you don't have to balance this every time you charge so um, you can balance this but it's not necessary to do on every charge you can balance them every 10 charge or something so um, I will have a look how this perform but when I have a look at the amps drawing without light and lights on it's around I think I read 30 milliamps to 140 milliamps or 113 I'm not sure so depends on this calculation it should run around 10 hours with this battery and it's super light super small and um, I will see how it performs when I use this on daily use but I'm very impressed about this little small pack and it's only around six dollars so it's the, almost the half of the battery pack um, they will give you for the battery that is made for this so since we have 9.9 .9 volts we have now a 9.8 because I already used this a little bit so um, the discharged voltage of a life is around 2 volts but I think this is too deep I will use this um, until each cell becomes 2.5 volts so which means on a 3S on 7.5 volts I will put the alarm in and so I know the battery is going empty and I have to recharge this is only uh, my opinion, but I think leaf fi batteries are better to use on transmitters. Safety is one thing, the voltage and the um, consumption the other thing. I hope um, this video will help you to make your decision, either choose a life or a LiPo battery. Um, I will do 
another video of the 9XR for mixing because I have done a mix um, for the KK2.0 board in which you can arm the board with the momentary switch. But I will make this little video for this later. Thank you and bye.